and I think we're good in the question box. You know, I got one more thing here that I kind of want to touch on for everybody. So here's the thing. Maybe you guys have noticed this too. There is like a buttload of these how to make video courses and effortlessly and easily make professional videos. Has anybody been seeing those kinds of things? Right? And, you know, I, I pick almost all of these up. In fact, let me just go show you here. This is just from JVZoo. My job, as far as I can tell, and one of the things that hopefully all of you find to be of value is that I buy, like, all of this crap. And I look at it and I pick out ideas because I'm a professional video producer and I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything that I could be learning from somebody. And periodically in the mix, I find some really good stuff. Well, the really good stuff is few and far between, especially when you start looking at things like Warrior Special Offers and these JV Zoo products that people put together just kind of willy-nilly, right? So I usually pick the best, and I will, again, find ideas and things that I can figure out and show you all how to do. So I'm not necessarily a fan of, of like, picking all these things up. I do it for a competitive reasons, not just to buy all this stuff. So that being said, I think that a lot of the good deals that you can get on Warrior Special Offers and these JV Zoo products are typically when they first come out, okay? And I'm going to give you an example of that right here. Uh, some products have information that if I can get like one thing out of, then I'm pretty happy with it. And if I only have to pay 7 to 10 bucks for it, then to me that's a good return on my investment. Now, what I don't recommend all you guys do is run out and buy all this stuff, hoping, you know, that you're necessarily going to maybe pick that one item out. It probably is not a good use of your time because evaluating these products and picking up specific tips and tricks, you kind of want to pick your battles there. So I look for them, and if I can find something really good at a really good steal of, like, one of these initial prices, then I'm a pretty happy guy. Like I say, I buy almost everything. These are all my JVZoo purchases. Now, here's the thing. I like a lot of the templates, but what you'll find is, and actually, let's just jump over to one. Here's one that is, like, flooding the inboxes today and the other day. It's called eVideo Rocket. Okay, and when you look at the emails for these, you'll find that they say the most powerful video marketing system you can buy and the only thing you'll need to make professional videos. The thing is that, well, man, for 17 bucks, if you think that's what you're going to get, uh, you're going to be sadly mistaken. What you'll find is that, you know, like I say, periodically, there are some fairly decent kinds of things. So what I did was, of course, I buy everything, like I say. And I'm kind of looking at this one, and I'm thinking, well, you know, the demos are really good, uh, not too bad. But here's kind of my cautionary tale on some of these templates. If you watch these, and this is true with the PowerPoint templates too, they are little videos with little animations set to music, okay? If you think you are going to make effective sales videos by pulling up these templates and modifying them and then just spitting them out with nothing but music and stuff in the background, then I would love to hear about it and see just how much money you're making doing that. It's, it's just not an effective message. It's not an effective sales message. It's another reason why, and I'm kind of going off on a rant here, but it's another reason I don't care for Animoto videos. It's a slideshow set to music. It's not a sales video. Now, that being said, could I use Animoto content to create some moving visuals and then base those on a good, compelling sales message and maybe narrate it and have background music and end up with a great-looking video? Yeah, you could. There are ways to use these, but my point is that it's often not right out of the box. 
I like to look at these and I can find all kinds of stuff or ideas or templates that I can use but rarely will it be a case that I end up just changing something and using it out of the box. So that's kind of my rant there. This is a kid, Josh Rada. You know, he actually goes through a pretty logical process here, and he shows uh, some pretty good stuff. If you have, like, no idea how to get started and things like that, then some of these are pretty good. Let me just jump down here. For $17, there are templates and things in here that I can use, right? In fact, there's kind of a cool um, Camtasia one that you can import into Camtasia and have this, like, iPad. It's like an alpha transparent video, and he actually has a nice demo and stuff here. For 17 bucks, just that one element alone would probably be worth it for me. Now, here's the thing is, they'll, you know, it's going to automatically go to $47 and then $97. Yeah, that's just not going to work. <laughs> but sometimes you can kind of catch these uh, pretty, pretty reasonably. But let me just jump into the member area here. And I also want to show you um, a mistake. For those of you who are creating your own video courses, I'm going to let this roll for just a second, and I want you to try to pick out what not to do when you're creating your tutorials, right? Let's let it roll. Okay, it's going to start rolling. It's thinking about rolling. Come on, roll. Oh, here we go. Now it's really going to... It's going to do this now in just a second. Come on, baby. Oh, that is cool. That is such a cool intro. All right. It's about a 10 or 15 second intro. And what is it? It's the old Hollywood trailer thing. Do not use these at the beginnings of your tutorial videos. Can anyone tell me why? Um, there's a specific reason. Doug's kind of on it. There you go. Lawrence is all over it. Too much download time. Okay? What's the experience you want to hand your viewer when they're trying to consume your content? This stuttering and buffering of a video that's trying to load? It's just ridiculous. Okay? Don't do that. <laughs> And of course, the music's too loud, and okay, it's so like on ahead. every single video that starts. Okay, so after wasting 10 to 11 seconds of my life, then we're going to kind of get into this. And like I say, the, the kid does a, a pretty good job. Uh, there's some script writing tips. Uh, he has what he calls a template. This is pretty worthless. But what I do kind of like are some of the other tips on PowerPoint. So what I like about him is that he actually follows my style a lot. Less is more, and keep it clean, keep it simple, and, you know, make things move a little bit, but don't go stupid with it. It's nothing you guys really haven't learned from us, to tell you the truth, but it's a nice consolidation of some of the, the principles and things like that. Uh, again, you can always pick up a couple of points from people. He has his way of doing some animations and stuff, creating a typing effect. And the other interesting thing about this is he, he does a fairly decent job of talking about some topography tricks. The other interesting thing is if you look at the sales page, he's going to have some demos here. So I like some of the PowerPoint instruction. It's not too bad. But if you watch these demos, they're not too bad at all. And the reason they're not too bad is because they are After Effects templates. Now, we've all talked about how to get these modified without buying or using After Effects. So if you think about it, you know, I'm not even sure how many it has. Let's go to the Resources tab here. So it has all of these. But you, you get the After Effects files for one, two, three, 
4. These are some lower third animations that, of course, we know we can use in Camtasia once they're modified and produced out of After Effects. So you get like four, I don't know, pretty darn decent After Effects templates that you could have modified on Fiverr and a bunch of audio tracks and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, and like I say, there's a couple of versions that you can download and load into Camtasia. It's not bad for 15 bucks. I wouldn't pay any more than that for sure. But I'll go ahead and put a link in here. <laughs> it's one of those, yeah, I wouldn't pay any more than probably 17 bucks for it. But just for the, the gears, you know, the gizmos, the stuff, the elements, probably a pretty worthwhile deal. Any questions? Would you have to have AE templates converted to MOV, asks Susan. Uh, MOV works or MP4s. Either of those will work. Marshall says, is there an upsell? You know, I think there are a couple of upsells. Uh, so here's the front end, which is 17 bucks. Uh, then there's an upsell for done for you whatever that means. I didn't actually go through that process. Uh, now this might be actually kind of interesting. If you are creating videos for others to resell, then looks like they have a resell rights options too. Uh, so that might be pretty interesting. Especially if you get pretty good at cranking out, or you know, po posting these on Fiverr, getting modified. But again, I, I don't know if I would make an entire video out of one of these little demo things, but certainly there's components there that can be used in, you know, crafting a better message or something like that. I'm not seeing anything else come in. Thanks, everybody, for kind of hanging out with me. We'll see you all later. Everybody have a good evening. Bye-bye. That's the way.